Oh, boy, take it off. You got curves, like the Grand Prix. Go ahead, flaunt it. You flatter me. But the heat of the harsh morning sun on my fair skin, combined with your volatile proximity, may cause me to spontaneously combust. Ooh. That's hot. I see what you did there. Uh, you know what? I'd like to see what you do in my penthouse, huh? What do you say? We go back and we try out the sprinkler system. Perhaps we can conduct our own fire drill. Uh, a, a little bit of forum, please. Oh, oh. You may have scarred me for life. All right, can you take it? Can you take a bite yourself? You can. Show me. Look at. Wow. Look at that. How good is that? Good job. That's a good job. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Only your presence could make this morning more perfect than it already was. Well, if the presence was an hour later, it would have been better. <laughs> I have to say, Scott, I have never seen my mother this happy. Well, I'm glad because I'm as happy as a clam at high tide. You know, I, I, life couldn't be better. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm sorry. I, I just put my foot in my mouth. I, I do that. I just, no, it, it's fine. No, no, it was insensitive. It was rude. I, I, it's my modus operandi. I, I, I do apologize. It's. I really don't need that. You are receiving an apology. Save at the moment, Britta. Y your mother. She told me about the little gift that uh, your father mm -hmm. left you, you. You can say Huntington's. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that that you haven't. Thank you, um, but I really don't want to talk about it. Okay. I am living in the moment and for the moment. Good, good, good. And thankfully without Jason Morgan. He would have gotten you killed faster than any debilitating hereditary disease. I really don't want to talk about him either. If it's any comfort, know that yesterday I destroyed Jason. Mother. What did you do to Jason? And I hope it involved a mechanical tool like a circular saw. Unfortunately, I have left my violent ways behind. So I used the next best weapon in my arsenal, my words. I told Herr Morgan exactly what I thought of him. Well, that's like talking to a turnip. Anna Devane thought the same thing. But I saw his face when I hit him with my best shot. I reminded him that he was the first person you confided in about your illness. You opened your heart and shared your fear. Only for the coward to leave you for his dead friend's wife. He will never, never stop thinking of you, Britta. You will haunt him. I made sure of it. 